Well, Christmas is now over. We are wrapping up 2021. Moving on to 2022, these trees, both of them, need to go down soon. Tater Tot's first Christmas was an absolute success. What is that? A little one package left underneath the tree. Who was this for? Well, I guess we should open this up and see what's inside. And as we are wrapping up the end of the year, going into 2022, we have one package left to open from Santa. And I guess we have to blame supply chain issues for this wrapping paper. Let us see what's inside to wrap up our Pokemon celebrations. Yeah, you guys thought we were done with Pokemon celebrations, didn't you? Nope, we have to open up the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer box. And as I've said in previous videos, I'm still kind of torn when it comes to these exclusive Pokemon Elite Trainer boxes. These were up for pre-order at one point. Clearly I got one and let's see how different this is in comparison to the actual Elite Trainer box that we were able to get relatively plentiful at a local Target. Let's see what we're opening up next year. Well, this box does feel a little bit bigger. This seems like a different kind of box. I can't tell. Time to open up this loose skin of... Oh, okay. It's not a typical Elite Trainer box. I guess this one we have to lay it down. And we open it up, popping this thing all the way. Typical player's guide, rule book. Oh, okay. We have some other contents in this box that we're gonna have to take a look at. But first, what is this? Pre-opened dice? It is popped open right here. So we have these two dice, which were just kind of loosely floating around the box. Pleasantly surprised by these dice. You could definitely kill a squirrel with some of these in a slingshot. Condition counters that no one cares about and we have way too many of these. If only we could learn trick shots like in Hawkeye. We have a brick of cards to open up. Oh, it, oh. I guess that was kind of expected. Of course, we have the Greninja promo, which I am absolutely glad to have more of these. I will gladly, gladly take more. Pack-wise, let us see what we have. Obviously, we have our celebrations, a whole brick of them. We have two Chilling Rain packs, one Darkness Ablaze, two Vivid Voltage, upping our chances for that big fat Pikachu, and one Battle Styles that we will use to start off this video. Hopefully getting ourselves an alternate Arts Urshifu, which we have still yet to get. And I don't think I'm gonna be buying more of these, <laughs> this set, just to try to chase one down because let's just say I've opened too many. Dotler, starting off this video with Ndidi, cleaning it up, giving us some coffee, Galarian Slowpoke, Yamper, my Yamper is sitting behind us. Murkrow, Salandit, Bellsprout, Seedra, chilling in the water, evading the fisherman, and our rare, Tyranitar. <sighs> good Pokemon, good looking card. Not what we wanted, but it's still a hit. One more pack from Sword and Shield because we gotta blow through some of these. And so far, this Elite Trainer box, more so because of all the additions you get, not necessarily the pulls, but some of the other stuff that I'm seeing, it's pretty neat. Definitely a change of pace. Granted, this is an anniversary set, so typically for anniversary sets, they will give you a few more bonuses than a typical, I guess, Elite Trainer box that we're getting as exclusives. But, I mean, if that were the case, and we get some of this stuff over here, I will absolutely start buying more Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes versus, uh, you know, the general release ones. Crab Brawler and Zangoose, Gale Claws, yeah. All I got. What else is in this box of treasure? We have some white sleeves. That's a nice little change of pace. I kind of like the contrast of the white, yellow, and black. A little bit more. A little bit more. Moving on to another celebrations pack, giving us hope for a Charizard. And <laughs> yeah, let's just say I'm not gonna be. Ho I'm not that hopeful that we'll, we'll be getting a Charizard. But you know. One can be dreaming. Dreaming just like this Lily. Xerneas. Professor's Research. Plenty of these. We'll definitely put them in a deck once we start playing. Hopefully in the new year. Ah. I don't even know the actual story about Imposter Professor Oak. We'll put it on the screen somewhere here. Burn it up. Nope. Chill up. Chill up with some chilling rain. Why is this battery dying? I don't know. 
But what I do know is Nick and I should be doing a live stream for New Year's Eve. So if you guys do want to partake, the link will be in the description below and also floating across the screen now because I'm going to try to, uh, I don't know, just do a crisp New Year's Eve live stream with Nick because what else are we going to do? We don't really go out for New Year's Eve on regardless of what year it is. So if you guys want to join that, tap in. Hit the link down below. Oh, Calyrex Ice Rider. I don't think I've pulled one, so that's neat. Are you still good enough to play? One more pack from Celebrations before we take a look at the next goodie, the next gem in this box from PokemonCenter.com. Code card, one to the front, getting rid of nothing because that's how it is with these four card packs. Groudon, Ho-Oh. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, no one cares. Charizard in this pack? I That'd be kind of neat. I mean, at the very least, I'll take a Charizard of any sorts. If we get one of this Darkness of Blaze pack, that would be pretty neat. Will I get one? Uh, I'm not holding my breath, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not holding my breath. Monkey, bird, moon, cat, dinosaur, ball, B uh, what the fuck are you, bug? Nuts, bug. Shit. Greetings, you have to know by now. I hate you. I guess that would be considered self-loathing because <laughs> Greedent is kind of my my uh, spirit Pokemon for the time being, for the moment. I am feeling very greedy chasing after Charizard. Will we chase after Charizard tomorrow night? Or I guess tonight by the time I put this video out. Hopefully? Xerneas! Ho- oh! Ooh-hoo! Serving Pikachu VMAX. Not bad, not great, not what we want. Do we want this card instead? No. What kind of luck would it be if Pikachu was in this pack? Big fat, hyper rare, expletive Pikachu. Will we ever get one? I really hope so, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to buy more uh, Viv Voltage packs from Target whenever they had restocks of them. Not a lot, you know, trying to get as much as I can with the limits, new limitations that are still there, but Man, I've been opening a whole lot of Vivid Voltage for this channel, and we have yet to see one hyper rare big fat expletive Pikachu. Mudbray rolling up in the mud. That's what he does, because that's why his name is Mudbray. Pharaoh Seed. Leon. Hey, whatever happened to Kings of Leon? They totally just dipped out, but unless I just haven't pay been paying attention to them, I guess they still exist. I just, I don't know. I haven't heard of that band, from that band. Granted, we don't talk, so why would I hear from them? I don't know. Russia Ram, Palkia, Pikachu, second time, and <sighs> way too many times. What else is in this box? A nice silvery coin with absolutely no detail. I mean, yeah, Pikachu's face is on there and the tail, but no color whatsoever. This is a lackluster coin. Back in the XY era, they had a premium collection box that had a coin that was metal that had paint on it and that was a beautiful coin very not fun to play with when it would land edge down on one of your cards while playing yeah that kind of sucks and of course dividers who doesn't like dividers do you guys actually use these dividers i would hope so because with the amount of elite trainer box we're all buying we might as well use these to uh, organize our cards speed of division hopefully we don't get divided within the new year that's why you should share this video with some friends to get them be a part of the uh uh rebel Alliance, uh, Rebel Rouser, Rebel Clash, we don't know. Cosmog, Cosmome, we just evolved. Oh, that's a nice little evolution. I'm kind of okay with this. That was a nice little sequence. I've never seen that before, have you? And our rare, okay. Vivid Voltage Patch, shaking it up. Shocking, isn't it? But yeah, as I was saying, hopefully in the new year we become a little bit more of a, a united world. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of sick of how divisive people have been over the year. Uh, it really shouldn't be that way, but that's just kind of the name of the game right now. And can I be like Kylie Jenner and use Pokemon to, you know, unify the world? Most likely not. Coding Energy, Zeb Shrika. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. That's very foreign to me. Zeb Shrika, Loudred, Clavopus. Well, you know what else is foreign? Your guys in the comments below. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite topping for hot dogs are. Yeah, I know that's a controversial uh, topic as to what you put on a hot dog. What are your condiments? 
do you dare put mayonnaise on your hot dog? That sounds like an innuendo. Explode! That's not a Pikachu. Yeah, uh, spoiler, I think the Chicago style is just okay. Granted, I haven't had one in Chicago, but when I did have one, it was just okay. How authentic was it? I mean, this is stuck. Uh, according to them, authentic, but wasn't bad. Wasn't my favorite. Do you want to know what my favorite is? You guys will probably hate my favorite style. Why are you stuck? Ah, Pikachu. Being stuck. This thing feels like it was crimped all together. Okay. Uh, third to last pack, I guess. We have one more goodie to look at from this box. So Bruh. far, oh. So far, this box has no goodies. This is a pretty neat product coming out of Elite Trainer Box. Is it the best? Uh, so far, I would say so. It feels a little thinner from the ones that I've gotten from uh, Worlds competitions. You could fit an entire deck in here and then some extra cards, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Actually, now that I think about this, I don't think this actually fits 60 cards. Now I need to find out. Got a deck box. Clearly, as it says, deck box. From Ultra Pro. This is a 60 card Pokemon deck with, uh, I think these are Eclipse sleeves. So they're not the thickest. So in theory, they should fit in this box. And they kind of um, need a little bit of finagling. I don't know if that's just because this thing here is a little more flexed, but yeah, I guess we can fit uh, 60 Pokemon cards in here. That's just a very tight fit. Like I said, this thing is a little flexed out. So I'm sure over time, this will loosen up and go more that way giving you ample space to fit a deck in here. I guess that you could put your spare sleeves in here. I would definitely say if you do use this, put extra sleeves in here, especially if this thing is still kind of putting too much tension this way. Because if you put your cards in here and you're, you know, at a tournament and you're a little bit nonchalant about it, you have chances of tearing the card sleeves, the corners, and really kind of messing them up, especially because there is this little lip right here which your cards will absolutely catch on, which will mark your corners of your sleeves. So I would highly suggest, if you do decide to use these, bring extra sleeves with you. This deck box, the only lip you get is on the back side. This is all just one big piece of plastic. So this, the lip that would catch, won't catch. There's actually literally no way this could catch anything because that goes to the back of the cards or front, the way, you know, however you want to put it in, and it won't actually, catch the corners. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a neat addition to uh, start seeing in the Pokemon Elite Trainer Boxes, especially the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, but it's still lackluster. But you know what else is lackluster? Some of these pulls, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I think the coolest one so far was just Leon because, I mean, slightly older pack getting, you know, a card. That is relatively, I guess is relatively playable. I don't remember. <sighs> At the very least, people like Leon. So Gilio Kyogre Blastoise. Ah, oh, you decided to skip, huh? We started, decided to skip Charizard to go for Blastoise. I hate you, Nick. Three packs left to open up from this Pokemon Center Lead Trainer box. What do you guys think so far about these Pokemon Center exclusives? Do you guys still plan on buying more as they keep putting them out? Or do you plan on holding out and just getting the store-bought stuff? I, like I said, if we get more accessories like this, such as the little deck box, it's neat enough. Will I keep going after it? Jesus Christ, the third one? I don't know. Ah, code card missing the last number or letter. Okay, I'll only go after them if they come with stuff like this. I am very surprised by this trainer box being a little bit different than the other ones. Granted, like I said, it is an anniversary set, so go figure, but... I was very surprised. One, two, one to the front. Getting rid of nothing. Cause that's what we'd be doing with this. Zekrom, Cosmog. Ooh, we got nothing. They see it finally to go with the other two dogs. We got, oh. oh. Last pack magic. Charizard. Oh, <laughs> be in here, buddy. I really wish you would make make do with your little red fiery face. I guess you're more orange. Depending if you're a bootleg or not, but please, Charizard. Be in this last pack. Evil Tall, Dialga, Flying Pikachu V Max. We'll take it. It's not what we want because we're chasing that dragon. Well, I guess it's not really a dragon. Dragon looking ish Pokemon. Ah, 
Rocket Tadman. First time seeing this. Whatever set this is from, initially, I never bought anything from this set, actually, when it came out, because I wasn't collecting at the time. Nice little throwback for a card that I never, ever had and have no affinity for. I appreciate that Rocket logo, though. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's that. Our very last Pokemon card video for 2021. But without further ado, we have our last pack to open up. Vivid Voltage chasing down that big, fat, hype rare expletive Pikachu. This thing almost looks like it was resealed. Hopefully not, because, you know, we need some more luck than uh, resealed packs. But if you guys haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll be putting out more contents as the year we re-enter, because, I mean, we have some stuff that I have in mind. And hopefully you guys want to stick around and enjoy that. Also, though, enjoy the vlogs. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the vlogs. If not, then comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs or more Pokemon card videos, because either way, we'll be doing them. And, of course, I get the sand dial, and I have put away the, the Entei to see if they're the same story. <sighs> Shuckle is our last reverse hollow of the year for Pokemon card videos. From Jan Hell, the Rebel Rousing, like I said. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video with some friends. Turn on your notification bell so you get these code cards, so you get this entertainment, and so you can see these pulls that are kind of trash right now. And hope you guys had a good holiday season. I hope you guys did have a good holiday. I hope you guys had a good New Year's Eve celebration that is coming, uh, I guess tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow, whatever day is gonna be. <sighs> Shuckle, quit sucking. Mm. I would have enjoyed a Don Fan Prime, but we sure as hell did not get that. And until the next time, pump hard into the new year. <laughs>